another uh, slight pivot. I'll let you start, Miss. What do you think? Because you said your Yelp review. So what do you think is the worst things people may say about you, whether friends or romantic partners? Myself? Yeah. That's a good question. I would say analytical. You're too analytical? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm very analytical. Can you name an example? Or oh, my goodness. Nigga, she reading you right now. Right. <laughs> Any, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit... Um, so I'm a social scientist. Okay. So... And I've been doing this since 2006. So studying, studying human behavior. So it has its pros and its cons. And so what I would say is the reason why it can be frustrating for people is because when you're not used to being seen, it can be uncomfortable to be seen. Sure. Ooh, and I'm going to see you. Oh, my gosh. And, yo. and I'm going to see you. Oh, you know how many... You can't hide. That's why I explained that. That's why, right. I'm so, <laughs> that's why I'm so yeah. um, like huge on just transparency. Yeah. Because I see you. And it's like... People, like you said, people, especially when they're not ready to be right. seen or when they don't see themselves. Right. And right. that's a that's a process that if you as a somebody that studies behavioral um, patterns and activity Absolutely. and like if you not conscious of their um, awareness mm -hmm. to self and you mm -hmm. reveal something to them right. faster than they're ready it's to see damaged. it, they're going to hate you. It's damaged. It happens so many times yeah. in situations. And one of my homies gave me a great uh, example. He was in either like he was in the. Air Force or something. I don't fucking know. Excuse me. I'm, I'm not a I'm not versed in that. But long story short, he was saying, like, he was describing me. He said, Yo, well, what you tend to do is he was saying the same thing. You see people before they see themselves. Mm -hmm. But not only that, you will bring them them into awareness. Like imagine yeah. somebody got some fucked up shit with them. And you're not the presenter that's fucked up, but to them it's fucked up. Right. And they 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 have masked it for so long that they don't even know this shit exists. And you see it within the first encounter. Like yes. and you just genuinely asking a concern or trying to bring it to their awareness because right. you want to make them better. He was like, it's this process when people dive deep, go uh, scuba diving deep down uh, hundreds of meters into the mm -hmm. water. When they come back up, their body be inflated, like, because mm -hmm. of all of the um, pressure and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the only way to save their life is to puncture them and release the water to the air mm -hmm. and all of that. He said, it hurt like hell. Ooh. But it's the only way to save their life. Right. So they go into it knowing that. He was like, that's basically the process of what I do. Like, people don't know that what I'm doing is going to help them immediately because it hurt like hell. It hurts like hell. But... After the pain subside, they can come back and be like, "Damn, like that." that what you said actually helped and changed my yeah. life. So let me know if that's like your experience. Yeah, they do. I mean, one of the things that I learned when I was being trained in psych and counseling is, whatever somebody's defense mechanisms are and ego mechanisms are, do not change it unless you have something to replace it with. Mm. And so, what I would usually do is I would strip a person down because it's my gen, it's my genuine intention to understand you, to get to know you, and I'm also trained. Not in what is said, but what's not said. Facts. So I understand those silent moments, those quiet moments, and then I'm intuitive. So I'm a woman, right? Yeah. So I'm picking up inferences and everything, right? Because as a woman, as a weaker vessel, you're always searching for where you're safe. Mm -hmm. So it's on automatic. So you couple all as those things. As a weaker things. vessel? Mm -hmm. So the Bible talks about the woman being right. a weaker vessel. So yeah. that's how I kind of I, I kind of phrase it. But which, you know, I'm just, we're delicate. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're delicate beings. And so we are constantly checking to see, like, am I safe or, or whatever, what have you. So... Couple all that together, right? I'm an intuitive. I'm, I'm intuitive. I'm a woman. I'm a social scientist, right? So, and I'm analytical, right? Put those all things combined, and I can make somebody unintentionally feel like they're a science project. Yeah, un, 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 big so, on unintentionally. So, right. where's the fun? Like, do they, like, do they do they be like like do you do you turn it off? So I can turn it off, and you know I have like my select core few people that mm. see me when I'm ratchet, yeah. potty mouth, yeah. you know, an uncouth. You know, just bigotry all over the place. Like they're like, bigotry. damn, uh, Un uncool bigotry. She was oh, gonna yeah. into the dictionary. Oh, all right, Trump. Okay. Right. <laughs> no, absolutely, one hundred percent. And and they appreciate that and they love that. But because of what I do, you you understand, right? Yeah, yeah, like when yeah, you have when you're public facing, you can't like. It's not because you have an ego. It's because it's to protect the masses. Yeah, because exactly. And people, you it's like where it's like the sense of people are always waiting for that moment to of catch course. you in that. But it's like I I strip that because I'm I'm everything. I'm I'm a fucking human. So it's like right. I'm going to be because I was going through the where I, feel, I always say be become a prisoner to our platform. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You know well, I mean? it's it's not it's not just a matter of like people waiting for you to fall per se. It's kind of like. Like, if me and you are candid, there's no cameras, there's no mics, there's no nothing. I might talk about women in a certain way or men in a certain way that would be irresponsible to, do to say that publicly. Damn, so you just made me feel not wrong in certain situations because I always supposed to say I, I don't like filtering myself, but naturally I would put it in a more digestible you, way. It's a must. I'm, it's I'm, I'm putting it, making it yeah. digestible because I remember when I was like free form with everything, right. like, man, 
fuck this, fuck that. And it was like, right. it would go, it would get more attention, but a lot of it would be misunderstanding. Exactly. And now I just like, you know what? I'm going to make this subjective and objective enough right. for you to be able to make of it what you need for it to make right. sense for you. As best as you can. As best you can. Right, because we can't control all factors. What are they going to say about you before you go to your next question? Mm-hmm. I see you trying to get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I know him. Right. Scott's good. Scott's good. <laughs> He's like, um, I see you. Well, people will say, the worst thing they, could, they will say about me is, uh, you know, same thing. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Ricky you good? know that you about to say that Eric, no. nobody has nothing bad to say about him. No, he good? <laughs> I, was to say, I was going to say things we already discussed before mm-hmm. that, um, you know, I have empathy issues. Really? You yeah. can't tell? My boy don't have one empathetic bone in his body. What? Empathy issues, not, you know, so, it's not non existent. Let's say challenges. Like Challenge, that. Yeah, that's yeah. my favorite word. Yeah. Um, and other than that, like you know, I could be, uh, you know, a little bit cold with reactions to things. Like you know, like you know, were, start- you, were you in the military? No. <laughs> Is it the fatigue? The, how, no, no, no. Is because it the camo giving no, them up? No, because normally people who are in, in that front, the front line, right? The front line people, they see so much chaos. Yeah. That they get. I remember when I was numb. Because of my background, I remember being numb, and now I'm super empathetic because of coming to realization of how fucked up shit really be. Like, right, right. Damn, I, I, really feel that I shit. would compare Afghanistan to my mom. Oh wow, really, what the you know, because like so. <laughs> Is she gonna her, see this? She always, she watches everything. So oh, shout out to you, mom. I'm ready to find young man. I'm truly battle tested from okay. life. From Lena, so wow, in, I put a name out there, damn right. Is, not I only did he name, but I tried to uh, soften oh, a little. Right. You oh. raised a, a fine young man. Me, he just you know, dropped another bomb. I love about, you know, I feel it was worth. It was it was needed. So okay, you know that's my PTSD. Gotcha. <laughs> but no, to, to kind of circle back. So I think that what people might say, you know, I could be a little cold to reactions of things or times, whatever. Like the forgiveness topic we had, yeah. whatever, and then the empathy thing. Even though all my loved ones, I am genuine to all my loved ones. I care about everybody. So. I feel I have a, a good balance of it. But okay. to think about the part where you said, um, shit. It'll come back to you. Yeah, but um, I can save you so right are here. You, so are you just heady? Are you just logical? Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and I can, and um, it's hard for me to truly, as as Wolf has said in the past, hard for me to truly put myself in other people's shoes. If I just, if I, if I came up see myself ever reacting that way, it's hard for me mm-hmm. to really receive you reacting a certain mm-hmm. way. Got ever. it. Yeah, uh-huh. so I came up with a concept that helps when we talk about 10 and 2s. It's like yeah, right. something that might be a, a 2 to you could be a 10 to somebody else. And uh, it's not for mm-hmm. you to understand their 10s. Right. It's for you to understand your 10s. And right. that's how you attach the emotion right. to it. Because if it makes you mad, you don't got to, uh, it don't have to be the same activity. Exactly. You just need to understand what infuriates you Correct. or what makes you sad and then attach that emotion yes. to the person that you're trying to relate to. I do agree with that. Yeah, because it's like I can't relate to what might make a woman upset. And it's right. like you said about your intuition that I want to, comment on but mm-hmm. before we do that i want i want to say for me I, so i think that what people might say a lot of has changed like when i was younger i know that like i've always heard that like because it's like the same thing you hear that baby bad could be good in another setting right so like uh he wanna he wanna run everything mm-hmm. but that's what make me a leader or mm-hmm. you know so it's like certain things like but now i don't hear those things so if I, I don't know i'll be i'll be wanting to know <laughs> i'm gonna be real because i'll be like like i'm not fucking perfect so mm-hmm. like I even tell my girl, tell me about myself. Like, like I want that because I, I'm so big on personal development. My therapist always, like, point that out. She's like, you want to do the work. Mm-hmm. So that's why you always looking for somebody to, like, tell you if there's things that you can improve. Mm-hmm. So I can't even say, honestly, consciously, because I haven't been hearing things a lot of it. Way. You said what? Do things have to be your way? Would that be one? I don't my think girl said that. that before, but when we got contextually with it, it was just like, well, that's a part of being a leader. So, like, it kind of do have to go like that. But outside of that, like, no, nah, I, I don't feel like that. But because I'm a visionary and I have a vision, I started to demand that because I used to compromise a lot on what I knew was right. Like, what is- I mean is visualize it. We can all be in here and I can know I want that camera right there, but I'm trying to be a team player. So I'm like, well, Cassandra, what do you think? Right. And you're like, well, we should put it over there. And I'm like, <laughs> it's probably best over here for us all to have our own right. angle. I just started to be more... uh uh, inclusive. Yeah, I started to be more inclusive, but that wasn't always good. You know what I mean? Sometimes it just pays to just be like, you know what? I know what we're doing. Just trust me. And just take the, the heat if it don't. And I'm cool with that. Got if it, it fall, I'm good with that. I can live with it. Is words of affirmation one of your love languages? Mm-hmm. Have you taken the quiz? No, but okay. I'm going to tell you why I haven't. Because I feel like all of them, I've read a lot of it, right. but I've never taken the quiz. But I feel like all of it, to some degree, is applies to all of us, just depending on what season you want. Like, I want That's all that fact. shit. So I feel like trying to narrow down a love language to That's me, like, 
philosophically it makes sense, but right. literally I just don't see it being just, oh, words of affirmation or gift giving. Because like, no, nah, I want to do all that shit for different people. Right. Like it might, for, from my mom, it might be words of affirmation. I might need her to pour into me a certain way, right. you know, but from my woman, it might be, I might be a gift giver. So it's like, right. it just depends on a, on a situation. But what I will say about words of affirmation, do I... I, I don't even know. Like, because typically even know. speaking, from what I've what I've observed, a lot of men who are leaders do appreciate that will come up as one of their tops. So give me so is words of affirmation appreciation in like the same family? I think that the leader mind mindset wants to is has like a three sixty understanding of like all, like wants to know of all parts of what's going on. Yeah. And the only way to truly receive those inferences is if you get that feedback. Hundred percent. So I think that the way that af- words of affirmation occurs to the leader as opposed to maybe see like a woman that's just in her feminine mm. is that he's just looking to see if, if he's on target. If oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can say that because that's like that that's me. That's why I always you know what I'm saying? It's like that connection. Just correct. Making sure that like you said, I'm Because then how would you leave? If you if, if they exactly. not if you ain't got no followers, then you are not ex- you're exactly. not able to be to establish in this in the in the in the shoes that you intend to stand in, which That's, is leadership. Exactly. So I guess like some of the things for me, I don't know. I just want them situations where the moment something come up and it's presented and like granted, I don't I'm not sensitive to what's said. Like I'm reacting to everything. Oh, I gotta change that, I gotta change that because I'm not about to let somebody control me with their opinion. I mean, some shit I know like I know me enough. To know who don't know me. But mm. when it comes from a place where you might know something that I did not realize about myself, I want that. Like, right. oh, shit, I ain't right. Now, granted, it's some shit ain't worth working on. Like, mm-hmm. it's like, I play basketball, I don't have a right hand. Mm. Hey, but you can't <laughs> stop this left. And I can, R- Ricky could discover that. Me and Ricky right. play ball together. He can discover that in three drives. Yo, damn, you went left every time. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm not about to work on my right because that's not what I need to succeed in this area. Right. So it's just about being discerning enough to know. <laughs> like, I know my shrimps. I know my weaknesses. As long mm-hmm. as my shrimps is better than whatever you trying to do, that's a fact. we cool. But um, how that translates into life is just like, um, no, nah, I really do like doing the self-work. So I really do seek out. That's why I got a therapist. That's why I got a counselor. That's why I tell my girl, like, you the closest person to me. Like, do not let me walk out with shit on my face. Now, that's right. a, that's a, a, a theoretically speaking, but it's just like right. one of the situations where it's like, oh, I don't know what you get into. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to get into that. <laughs> no judgment zone. Since yeah, no, that's a judgment zone. <laughs> we don't get into that. But uh, all in all, it is one of them situations where it's like, nah, just like, because, and that's what I've been explaining to her. Like, I would never tear you down. Mm-hmm. Unless it's with the intent to renovate you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is if you have some fucked up ways, I'm going to keep pointing them out to you. Right. Because it's not affecting me, it's affecting you. Right. And because I want to see you better, it's my job and my duty because you don't want to be next to a man that won't. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And I'm not here to adhere to how you feel because right. we're doing something long term. So every day is not going to be fucking peaches and cream. Right. We might go 24 hours without speaking after some shit I'm going to say. But I'm going to make sure that my tone is appropriate, my delivery is right, and most importantly, my intention is there. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I think that if you can't appreciate that, then you don't want a man to help you grow. Absolutely. You want a man to keep you the same or feed your ego. So how's that tie? Um, walk me through. Like, I, I didn't. I don't think I picked up on like how that ties into like what people say is like. I just pivoted. Oh, okay. So I was just thinking because you used to the leader thing, and I started just mm-hmm. thinking about my personal development. And then I started to pivot into me trying to make others better. Yeah. But I don't know. I just was saying like I yearn for that. I yearn for somebody to be like, yo, you know. And now, granted, it just comes from their intention. But right. that, that's probably the only thing. Only thing I can say that. I don't know. I do like being the first. I am. I do like being in control, though. He just perfect, but not. A, I'm not. No, because just because I'm just aware. So it's like if I if I notice something before I'm on my way here, mm-hmm. and I work on it, it's kind of a challenge to say that it's still a problem, because I'm a solution minded person. So I'm not perfect. It's just like if you point out something, even when we acknowledge accountability and me being late. Mm-hmm. I didn't make an excuse. I didn't fight. I feel like people make their accountability longer than it got to be. Right. Just take accountability and just fix the shit. Like, That's... I don't want to sit in the sorrows of my mistakes. I'm going right. to fix it. If it's fixable and if it's not, I'm going to do what I can to try to rectify or be better moving forward. So right. it's not about being perfect. It's about being aware. And when you're aware, you can fix the shit that's wrong about you, mm-hmm. and you cannot do things that might affect others. That shit really is simple. So all the shit I used to do... Like I told you, people ain't fuck with Nasty now. Nah. Right. I was I don't know. Like people ain't fuck with him. But the wolf, you know what I'm saying? That's not my prior name. The wolf is like, I'm a different person. So it's kind right. of a challenge to see, like, oh yeah, they don't fuck with you because of this. Right. I but I am a debater though. I, I get, fuck people with will say that. One of them niggas. But right. um, but I do remember the uh the 